story of the railroads is the dramatic story of progress and transportation. From the earliest horse-drawn coach to the streamliner of today, we laugh at the thought of a horse out racing a locomotive, but that's what happened a little more than a century ago when one of the first steam-driven passenger trains in America, the Tom Thumb, came in a poor second to old Dobbin. But Tom Thumb grew into a giant, and old Dobbin was left far behind. Years of progress changed the size, power, and speed of these chariots of the rails, and a railroad engineer became something of a hero. More than just a story of progress, railroading became part of the drama of America's dynamic growth from a frontier society to a great nation whose mighty cities and farms and factories are linked by bands of steel. Just as America has grown apace with the phenomenal progress of its railroads, so does young America grow up with model trains. The American boy who dreams of someday becoming an engineer spends many happy hours playing with realistic models like the ones displayed in this wonderful showroom. These miniature lines have most of the features of real railroads, stations, switches, tunnels, bridges, signal towers, even realistic scenery. And the little engines and cars are amazingly accurate, perfect to the tiniest detail. What hours of fun and excitement are spread out here before the delighted gaze of a little boy. Railroads have come a long way since the days of Tom Thumb, and model railroads have come a long way since the days of the spring winder Dad used to play with when he was a boy. Dad was born too soon. Look what he missed. Electricity runs the little streamliners and freight trains. It operates the switches and signal towers and the other intricate devices that make model railroading as wonderfully interesting and complicated as the real thing. To a boy who dreams of growing up to be the engineer of a big, black, powerful steam engine, the hours of apprenticeship spent on a small-scale line are richly rewarding. Here he is king. Here at his bidding, the trains start and stop. The whistles blow, the lights flash, the switches turn. He is lord and master of all the railroad he surveys. Generations of American boys have looked longingly at models like these, have asked generations of American fathers to buy them trains like this, and have cluttered up living rooms with yards and yards of track to the dismay of generations of American mothers. As long as there are youngsters, there will be model trains and all the other paraphernalia that make model railroading the big thrill in a little boy's life. Sleep comes easily to little boys, and so do dreams. In his dreams, he travels fast and far into history. He is Ben-Hur, racing his chariot in the Colosseum of ancient Rome. He is skipper of a full-rigged ship, captain of a clipper rounding the horn. He feels a kinship with John Paul Jones. The adventure and romance of travel are woven into the fabric of his dreams, and he sails on through the night. He 
is a decorated ace and takes off in a jet fighter. Up, 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 flying faster than the speed of sound, faster than the speed of dreams. Now he cries, Geronimo! And bails out over enemy territory. Of course, he dreams about trains. How could he help it after that visit to the model train exhibit? He doesn't wait till he grows up to become the engineer. He just dreams he's one. He dreams he's Casey Jones, that fearless, brave engineer famed in story and song. And he is all set for the fastest, most exciting train ride in history to the coast and back, non-stop, in the time it takes to dream it. a dream and a dream is a train as Casey Jones sits in the cab of his locomotive and thunders across the country. Cities and farms roll past in a vast panorama of sight and sound. Just wait till Skinny and the other kids hear about this. Won't they be jealous? The fires burn and the steam sings and the wheels turn. The train picks up dust in Kansas and lets it down again in Oklahoma. The whistle blows in Florida and they hear it in Vermont. The smoke rises over the prairie and they see it in the city. Lickety-cut, lickety-cut, listen to the clickety-click. Coming through like a falling star. So back you autos, back you cows. I'm coming as fast as the law allows. of a crack cross country express, our pint-sized Casey Jones has been bitten by the railroad bug for good. Asleep or awake, he will hear the rumble of the wheels singing in his ears the rest of his life. Uh -huh.